my mother, she, her love of education came because she never set a day in school. She said she would watch the kids go to school and she would be so sad and she would think, you know, my mother doesn't love me. That's why she never sent me to school. I'm like, mom, you know, she did love you. She was just trying to survive. And so for her, school was a way of showing her love to us. You know, that she loved us so much that there was nothing that was going to get in the way of our education. She was going to send us, regardless of the fact that she didn't go and she didn't know how to read. She couldn't help us with our homework. But through education, she showed her love to us. I think Stella Luna, she's my four-year-old. She's really been one who has shaped my career as well at school because when she was 18 months old, she was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. Out of nowhere. It just took us by surprise. Nobody in our family has diabetes. I mean, knocked the wind out of us. And I was five months pregnant with Paloma at the time. When I was at Cesar Chavez, we were very active in diabetes awareness because, as I've said this often, I couldn't control Celaluna getting type 1. But our children, our Latino community, Type 2 runs rampant in it, you know, and if parents are just aware of how they can adjust their lifestyle a little bit, if they don't get type 2, I think it's important to me, you know, and I think it's important that they, that they know this. You don't have to get type 2. Just because everyone around you has it doesn't mean that you have to get it, and this is what you can do to not get it, you know. So I hope to do it this year, be more aware, more have more awareness here at Burton. I really feel like I am doing exactly what I wanted to be, you know, what I wanted to do. People ask me, well, do you ever want to be like a superintendent? I'm like, oh, no, I never, I think even now sometimes I feel like I want to be in the classrooms. I want to be with, I love going to the classroom. I love recess. I love being out there with them. Like right now I'm missing lunch to do with my kindergartner. <laughs> I mean, they're fine, but I love that time with them when I can just really connect them. I loved teaching and I feel like being a principal, you're just teaching at a different level. Um, but it's not the same as being in the classroom. I don't think people understand how important a teacher's job is, how without them, what kind of society we live in. I mean, our teachers are so, so important, I feel right now, that they're just not getting all, all the value, you know, all the kudos they should get because they're so instrumental in making our society function, you know? And I cannot speak, you know, enough about how important they are. I think first they have to feel like they are loved and they are wanted here at this school, that this school is safe. And then when they come in and they're hungry, that they're gonna get fed. And if they're cold, that they're gonna get a coat, you know, a coat, that they're gonna be okay, that we are going to take care of them. And everything that happens out there, that doesn't come in here because we're able to take care of you here. And we will keep you safe and we will keep you well. And on top of that, you'll get an education, you know? So it's a bonus. So I think that's what it takes. I think they really have to understand. And I feel with me and my parents, they always know how much I love and care for their students. It's, it's more than just a job or a career for me. I mean, I feel it in the depths of my soul, being a principal or being in education. 